I have so many jewelry boxes. Like I have so many. I don't understand. Why do I have so many? Hello and welcome back to my floor. So in the last video, the first in the series of my uh, very own extreme home makeover, I cleaned my room. In my defense though, Anyway, the next step in my uh, home makeover is to just clean out stuff because I have always had a lot of stuff and these past couple of years or okay the past year I've gotten pretty good at getting rid of clothes that I don't need or that I don't use but I'm still kind of a hoarder when it comes to stuff <laughs> today I'm going to start the process not gonna I, I, I probably won't finish it but I'm gonna start the process of just going through all of my stuff and getting rid of it yeah let's go I guess and so I started the wonderful journey of going through every single item I owned I started with my jewelry and my accessories because I thought that would be an easy and nice start and also because I've gone through my jewelry and accessory collection quite a lot of times so I pretty much got down what criteria I have for keeping something and getting rid of something. I sorted everything into three piles. First pile being I want to keep this, second pile being I want to throw this out, third pile being I don't want to keep this but I have no idea what to do with it. Then I searched on the boxes under my bed. These boxes have served kind of as a I don't know where to put this, so I'm just gonna put it under my bed kind of storage. Meaning I have a lot of random ass stuff that I don't even remember getting. For example, my brick. Isn't he beautiful? I use the same kind of sorting system here, mainly because I wanted to get through all of my stuff before I started to decide what I was going to do with everything that I didn't want to keep. Because I knew I was going to want to throw some things out and I was going to donate some stuff, maybe sell some other stuff, but I didn't really feel like doing it right then and there. I made this pencil case when I was like in sixth grade maybe, maybe fifth. It has <laughs> dango on it <laughs> from Clanad. It's actually really cute. Like I used this pencil case for so long. Like it's wow. I want to wash this and start using it again. It's cute. I used to be able to draw. I cannot draw anymore. This is my old rubber collection. Fun fact, before I cleared out my eraser collection for the first time, I had more than 300 unique rubbers. I spent a lot of money and time on that collection. I regret it a lot. I think some of these are still like, you can still use them. So I'm gonna look through that. I have so many jewelry boxes. This one my sister made for me, so I'm not getting rid of that. Uh. Okay, plastic gloves? What the hell? Oh, I was looking for this the other day. It's a peg. Nice. And here we have me trying to get the plastic wrapper back onto a book that I opened for 30 seconds straight. In fact, I actually love going through and clearing out stuff, but the only problem is that if I don't finish, my room ends up looking like Satan's playground. So I don't do it very often because I know I'm so extremely easily distracted and if I get distracted, I will never finish and I'll end up living in a dump. Like I have so many jewelry boxes, I don't understand. Why do I have so many? Time for my little uh, chest that's not so little. I have filled with all of my electronics. Honestly, I'm not even sure what's in this box. 
you guys are as clueless as I am. Okay, so this I need. Kind of need. Okay, so how I originally organized this chest was that on the upper level I had electronics that I used in my everyday life and then on the second level... Great! <laughs> okay, so first of all, I've got like a thousand... A thousand fairy lights. My old Nintendo. What the hell is this? My old phone. My first phone. Look at that. You can't really see it, but it's it's beautiful. Don't know what this is. Another charger for the same thing? Okay, don't need two. A weeb mouse pad. You never know when you might need that. More fairy lights. Amazing. A selfie stick. Not gonna use that. What the hell is this? I have got a lot of headphone thingies. That's like the one thing I don't lose. Stuff them all into one place. Efficiency! Yeah, this chest is going out of my room. Okay, so in case you think the quality is a little weird right now, it's because my camera died and I am filming on my phone. Now I am going to tackle my wall of stuff. So what I'm thinking is first I'm just gonna take everything down because I need to clean the walls anyway and then I'm going to sort everything out on the floor and then I'm not gonna put anything up until I've cleaned the walls. Let's go. Honestly this was probably the part that I dreaded the most about giving my room a makeover because the amount of times that I've ripped off the paint from my walls by taking stuff down is quite intense. Also it was just such a painfully slow process. Probably the only thing that took longer than me taking everything down from the walls was me getting the tack off of the things I took off the wall. This clip is on like 3000% speed but originally like it's at least half an hour long. Look at the amount of sticky tack. That is so intense. There is still a bunch stuck to my walls. <sighs> Yay! I removed the audio from this clip because I thought it had some really good ASMR potential. Okay, so... I've tackled most of my stuff, meaning now it's time for clothes. <laughs> okay, so my clothes, I tried to go zero mercy Marie Kondo on. I only kept the clothes that I really felt that I used and got the full worth out of. I didn't keep any of the clothes that I hadn't used like the last year or that I didn't feel like really made me happy by having it in my wardrobe. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, I've gotten a lot better at going through my clothes and I don't have as much sentimental attachment to my clothes as I used to, but I still have a lot of clothes. I think I in total got rid of like three big carrier bags of clothes this time. And of course, it wouldn't be me if I didn't get distracted and forget I was even filming a video. Then it was time for my out of room storage where I have all the stuff that doesn't fit in my room but that I haven't had the heart to get rid of. For example, my graduation hat. After that thrilling experience, it was finally time to separate all the things I wanted to donate, the things I wanted to sell and the things that were just going into the trash. Also, if you were expecting some kind of grand reveal in this video, I'm very sorry to disappoint but you're gonna have to wait until the next video.
I also completely forgot to film an outro to this one, so you know what? Just, just I'll, I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,